Guy code is a set of rules and regulations embedded into a code of conduct by which a man should live his life. Guy code is an unspoken word that is spoken with eyes. Rules like reciprocating a round of drinks among your friends at the bar or hidden tips like never wearing jeans to a strip club. <laughs> guy will no sabi observe the code. That one that guy. Welcome to Guy Code. What does it mean to publicly display affection? When is PDA appropriate? And does PDA ever go from cute to gross? Oh, yeah, we are in a relationship. You now to put your tongue inside my ear. Come on. What do you think women want? I mean, really, a broke Anthony Joshua or a rich Mr. Ibu? Who would get more ladies? When poverty and hunger start dealing with you, you won't even know Anthony Joshua is fine because your vision will be blurry. But first, you might have chemistry with your new partner, but you definitely still have history with me. What is so different about the fire in a new relationship? New relationships are relationships that basically just started out. You know, I mean, you guys are still in the honeymoon phase. You know, she's still laughing at your jokes. For me, that's not new. That's just you headed for something you don't know. Meaning that you get to a point where you reverse and start again. That point where you start again is the new relationship for me. Like if I'm still opening the car door for you, like as they ought. You sure don't raise your legs, don't carry your bag yourself. That new person that just makes your heart beat. When your phone rings and you see him, you're like, oh my god. At that point, the relationship started, you people don't know a lot about each other. You know something, but not everything. Every time you look at your partner, you feel butterflies, and you just keep asking yourself, wow, is this really me? Once you know that the relationship is reaching where you are starting to fart in front of each other, she don't they come on her weave. For your friends. She's not asking for password of your phone, you know. You guys, she's asking for key of your house, you know. It starts past the you know, that honeymoon stage. Fire, fire! Is there a fire that comes in new relationships? Absolutely, there definitely is a fire. Different fire comes with everything brand new. If you buy a brand new car, you want to whip it. <laughs> you just meet this fine girl, you know, she's all sweet. They will now hold those insults and those those fire fire they hold it for later you know not it's basically i just buy a new pair of shoes or a new bag you're excited about it it's new nobody has really seen it see finish has not entered yet talk to you she sleeps off or you sleep or you know those times you're sweet wake up in the morning you're the first person she calls you're the first person you call when the guy comes with confidence say woman i want to take care of you what do you want what do you, you can see the fire in his eyes that's the fire you're looking for catch a grenade for you. In a relationship, it should be you and me versus the problem, not you versus me. What can make a burning hot desire turn cold? You're not the girl I used to know. Why guys get comfortable or stop caring in a relationship? It depends on the aim. Some of the guys just came there to eat, to collect. And when they have finished their job, they will bounce. How do you keep the fire burning? Well, we got wigs. I can be whoever you want me to be any day of the week. I can say you want purple hair today, I'll give you purple. You want a different, you want haja, I'll give you haja. I know one that you want. You guys just driving around like midnight or 1 a.m. All those things are still sweet. You know, she's like, oh, let's get ice cream. Just normal ice cream. Oh, it's so nice, okay. Oh, yeah. What I've learned in my life and with my many failures in relationships before. I started to have small sense. True talk, y'all. True talk. I found out when you listen, especially with the women, they'll tell you how they want to be loved. They'll tell you what to do to keep the fire going. Don't, don't ask for too much. Because some men, when you ask them for too much, they will run away. Just, you know, small, small. Baby, I need money. How much? 20,000. Next week, baby, I need money. How much? 40,000. Be topping it. 20, 20, 20. When you reach 200, that's when you know if this is a man you have to keep. Look back and remind yourself of some of the things that you did or some of the ways that you guys acted around each other and consciously try to do those things as the relationship gets older. We never realize how unoriginal we are until we have to pick a username. How do we avoid falling for the wrong people? Pray man, take it to God and just ask him to show you a sign that this is the one, you know. And if it so turns out that you still end up falling for the wrong person, then you know that God had a plan. When you meet them, ask them questions. The kind of, the kind of goals that you set for yourself, ask them, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? What do you do? Some people are dead good at pretending. You never know, you know, for a year. You just have to try and see when you, people cannot pretend forever. If I take you out publicly and you, in, you have a derogatory attitude towards waiters and waitresses. Is this the kind of glass you pour champagne in? Oh my God, what blunder. Jeez, take this. Get me your manager right away. Zoom. The way she answers her call, even from just her call, her body language, all this kind of stuff. The guy too. 
you know, for the way the guy treats other people, you know. Even his family people, it might be his sister or his mom, you know, you know how he's going to treat them. P.D. Amen's public display of affection is for those people that are still in love, he's still shocking them. This is where Mr. A and Madame B are holding hands in public, touching each other's hair. My P.D.A. is help you with heavy stuff, you know, just, I like my woman to just float, effortless, you know. Hey, bring, bring the back. You want to do whatever it is at that point that shows that I love this person and you absolutely don't care that there's anyone watching. My version of PDA is almost like harassing my baby. You know, I'm going to be pinching you, hugging you, all that business. Then I know, you know I meet some babes that their own PDA is they want to kiss you at the mall, at that middle place where everybody passes. I didn't know I had issues with that till I got in a relationship with someone who like that. Yeah, if you want it, I'll do it. I'll chew it, like chewy chew it. Okay. okay, some girls want assurance. For others, a little bit of claiming them in public ensures everything. Is PDA really a genuine display of affection? <laughs> PDA connotes more love or horniness? I think it connotes love more. I think maybe horniness sometimes. Majority of the time, public displays of affection, it really is love. It's, it's the love they're feeling at the moment. Because if it's horniness, my brother, it'll probably go from 1 to 10 in a jiffy, so that's not horniness. Let's leave horniness for the other rule. When is it too much? I think exactly, like when you need, you guys know you need to find a room. You guys need to get a room. It's obviously too much. Well, imagine in public, someone tries to stick the, oh, yeah, we are in a relationship, you know how to put your tongue in somewhere, yeah. Zoom. Those are looking for Ikoro and corners to enter. No, 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 no. One kiss on the on the lips, if anything. Or just pick each other. Mwah, mwah. That's it. Ten shows of affection in ten minutes. <laughs> that would be too much. So I guess the number of times that you indulge in it in a certain period of time. There are a few places where couples shouldn't do PDA. Places like another man's wedding. To do a public display of affection, like if you're in the, if you're in the cinema, it's, it's great, it's allowed, you know what I mean? It's dark, you know what I mean? It's here. If in the club, of course, that's more than allowed. Few places is okay to do PD at the movies. You can do that at the movies. Some parts in the mall. Or maybe family gatherings, birthdays, basically informal events. I mean, we don't really do trains here, but on the train, I think it's really sweet. <laughs> I'm so sorry! At the airport, that's an amazing place. Because it'll be full, it'll be it'll be full of so much emotions, particularly when both of you are not traveling together. PDA is totally unacceptable. Maybe at um, formal functions. I don't think it's in your best interest to do PDA in front of your girl's dad and you've not put a ring on it. <laughs> if you don't get out of here now, no PDA at work. That was that was such an obvious answer. <laughs> there are some offices where if they even know you guys are dating or married, you might get fired. <laughs> Pro tip. Appropriate ways to do PDA. Keep it sweet, keep it short, keep it nice. Don't be lewd, all right? Hug a peck, fine. We don't need y'all smooching up against each other in public. Don't stick your tongue down somebody's ear. You're not a cutting board. Boom. Pro tape, how to be more romantic. One, give her forehead kisses. Two, take her out on more dates. And three, cuddle, guy code. <sighs> that book will never be completed. That book will never be sold. <laughs> Women don't even know what they want. All the things mankind has invented, we still don't have a straight up answer to this question. Women want a whole lot of things, but I believe women just want to be loved. You see, women are very simple. What they want is to be loved, to be cared for. Just pay attention to them. Women love attention. It's a personality thing. Different women want different things. So maybe you want to ask me what I want. I just want to be happy and I think that's what a lot of women want as well. Right now in my life, what I want is security, protection. I want a man that I can genuinely rely on. I also need financial security. A man who... A broke Anthony Joshua and a rich Mr. Ibu. Hmm, who's likely to get the ladies? Mr. Ibu. He's going to be the guy because he will buy the room, you buy the car that used to go to the room, you will pay the rent for that room. You, your own, is to be doing gym, gym time, gym time, leg day, leg day, chest day. But you just feel because they pump iron, Goliath, 
You nobody will have your time on this earth. When poverty and hunger start dealing with you, you won't even know Anthony Joshua is fine because your vision will be blurry. <laughs> Let me start to buy you like one Rolls Royce or buy you like one 2019 G-Wagon and you're driving around town. Come on! I think the one with the better heart is most likely to get the ladies. Personality is everything. Forget your bank account. Money is also important because money answered everything. That's what the b says. You know that one statement that would automatically start flashing pictures of all the wrongs you've done in your life? We need to talk. Just say it already. I'm already anxious. The problem we, we, we need to talk is when it starts with that phrase. Baby, um, we need to talk about something. It's like, what have I done wrong? again. In 50 years, instead of coloring photos, we'll be busy removing filters from pictures. I mean, most girls will still use filters even after makeup before posting a picture. I woke up like this indeed. The magic of makeup. Wow. Where do I start? Makeup has done so many things, good and bad. I mean, I don't know, this is not very common though, guys, but I love you to look stunning when you do the right thing or when you do the right thing. It boosts confidence. It makes you look really good, really pretty. And sometimes you don't even have to apply so much. Just get your eyebrows done, put on some eyeliner and lashes maybe. It doesn't make you a different person, but it just makes you a more heightened version of who you are. Some ladies, it's when they change their makeup style that they get boyfriend. Now which can clean you up for but you clean you up for but they make me want to spend my money. Makeup is jazz. That thing is juju. Can I see? Ten girls stand out for me. Eh? Check him up, one the best thing. Look, these days I don't reach where if you want kind of woman come out and she always wear makeup before you ask her out. Take her like swimming. You got to take her to a swimming pool. You know what I'm saying? So she could submerge herself and come out. So you could really, <laughs> you could really see the chick. So yeah, it can affect a woman's self-esteem if the woman is one of those type of women that lets makeup affect or control her confidence and her self-esteem yeah it might maybe boost your self-esteem a little bit saying you feel better about yourself you know there's, there's something people say about when you look good you feel better women love good makeup if it's good they use it if it works for them they use it i don't think if they don't have it on it kind of affects how they feel maybe some women do but generally i think it doesn't or if you start to feel less of a person without makeup on or if you realize that you don't want to go into certain rooms or you don't want to see certain people because you don't have makeup on, then it's a negative effect and you need to check it and you need to work on it. Makeup definitely increases, it enhances a woman's self-esteem. The makeup industry is cashing out on our love for good looks. How much would be too much to spend on makeup? I wouldn't want to spend more than 10,000 Naira for an Owambe makeup. Maybe it's because I know how to apply makeup. But if it was, say, my wedding, I wouldn't mind spending as much as 250,000 Naira for my makeup. If it's a set, 30k. If it's just one item, 10k. So if I was just going out um, to an event, I think the most I personally would pay is 15,000. You know, five to 7,000 on, on a cheap 5,000. 5, on, <laughs> on the iPad, seven. I hear there are celebrity makeup artists who would obviously charge more. But I remembered back in the day, I always used to give my shorty like 20 grand to get her makeup done. Hey! What the heck was that? I don't want to hear that you have bought something 50,000 naira makeup. I'm going to sell it. And now it's time for the Golden Nuggets of Wisdom, which is the ultimate gentleman's code to succeeding and winning at life. So here's a quick nugget for you. Learn the profound act of keeping silent. Now, sometimes the less you speak, the more you're actually heard. Remember that, gentleman's code. Join us next week to continue your journey to manly greatness. Your daddy, you can work with your daddy, depending on what your daddy is doing. Yes, a girl can be interested in another guy other than her boyfriend. In fact, girls do it a lot. Sorry, girls. There is still a tendency to be able to like other people simultaneously. See you next time for more lessons on Guy Code, Ninja Style. Powered by Gulda.